Hi, my name is Benjamin Kirk and I'm the coordinator for the Honors Algebra 1 program here at Ithaca High School. Thank you for checking out this website and in this video I want to tell you a little bit about what the expectations are and the policies are for this program. First, I just want to say that we've specifically designed this program for anybody. Anybody who wants to take the class for honors credit is welcome to do so. You don't have to make a schedule change in order to do this. You won't be in a different classroom. You'll have your regular classroom with your regular classmates. Everybody taking this class will still be together, but any student who's taking the class for honors credit will be expected to do just a little bit more. Uh, the content, the instruction, how you'll be learning the honors stuff will be from two places. Uh, your teacher will be teaching you some of it. You will be perhaps moving to one side of the room or your teacher will have some kind of extra notes for you to work on in class um, or something like that in order to help you understand whatever honors topics there are for that particular time. The second source though is right here. Uh, we expect that any student taking the class for honors credit comes to this website regularly, uh, every week or so, to view some videos like this one that are, will be posted here. Um, these videos will correspond and go along with the note sheets that you'll get as the honors assignments are released. Uh, these note sheets will have the examples that uh, we'll be discussing in these videos so that you can follow along with the examples, you can write down whatever notes or steps or processes that you need to to help you understand and remember how to do the honors uh, topics, how to do these extra stuff. Um, we suggest that you put these notes in a separate spot. You either keep an actual separate honors notebook or maybe if you have a three grade binder, maybe a different section in your notebook. Don't put them in with your other region's notes. Make sure that the honors notes are separate so that they're more easy to find. You can find them easily. In addition to these notes, in addition to these videos, you'll be getting additional homework assignments. You will be expected to do these homework assignments in addition to your regularly scheduled homework in class. Um, so that is an added expectation for you. There won't be a lot, it won't be very long, and you'll also have several days to get it, to get it done. Depending on the length of the assignment, you could even have as much as a week's worth of time. The due date will be clearly written on the assignment, so just make sure that you get it done by then and you turn it in to your teacher uh, at that time. So that's one thing that you definitely will need to be doing a little bit extra. Um, another thing will be on the end of unit tests. Uh, because you'll be learning some additional things uh, in addition to what everybody else is learning, when we get to the test at the end of the chapter, there will be a few extra questions that you'll need to answer. You'll have the homework that you worked on. Your teacher will give that back to you so you can prepare from that. You'll also get some additional review problems before the test comes out, along with the answers. So you can be working on reviewing for those in preparation for the test. Um, but those additional test questions will be uh, counted towards your honors component of your grade. Uh, what we'll do is keep the honors assignments and the honors tests, everything like that, we'll calculate that grade separ separately from your regular non-honors class and your regular non-honors topics. And why we're doing that is because if you do decide that this class doesn't work out for you, if you feel like it's too much work or it's just it's too hard or you just want to focus on getting the best grade that you can in preparation for next year, then you can do so. You don't have to change your schedule. Just talk to your teacher and you'll stop doing the extra homework assignments. You'll stop doing the extra test questions. You'll just stop. And then your grade will be based just on what you're doing with all the other students in the class. So we are asking that anybody, any of you who want to sign up for the program, you're going to need to do so pretty much right away. Um, the deadline is by the end of the marking period, but really you should do it immediately if you think you're at all interested so that you don't get behind on the homework assignments. If you do feel like you need to drop it, though, you'll have some time to make that decision. Uh, we will be having a hard drop deadline uh, by the end of semester in January because by the time we get to the midterm, any student who's still taking the class for honors credit will have a separate midterm test a separate midterm exam from the non-honor students. You'll be all taking the tests together, um, but the honor students will be, have a different test than the non-honor students. So if you think you're going to be dropping, you'll need to do so before the midterm. If you go through the midterm, you're locked in. You won't be able to drop after then. Once we get to the end of the year, 
there is the state regents exams that all students are required to take, and so you'll be taking those tests along with everybody else. Uh, in addition to that, though, you'll be scheduled to come in at a separate time to take the honors supplement exam, uh, the honors final. So that will be at the very end of the year in June. You'll have a separate test that you'll have to come in and take to go along with the regular regents exam. Um, I just want to make sure that you're clear that we have, we're here to help you. Uh, we, being your classroom teacher, uh, and me, Mr. Kirk, the honors coordinator. If you're having trouble with understanding the content, talk to your teacher. Come see me. Or go to the homework help rooms during your lunch periods. There will be a math teacher there. It may not be your teacher, but certainly they'll be able to help you. So that's another place that you can go to get some extra help. Um, if you have trouble watching the videos, or if you don't have regular internet access at home, or if your circumstances change and you can't watch the videos anymore, um, please let your teacher know. We can burn the videos onto DVDs, so you can watch them from anywhere uh, on any DVD player. So please keep that in mind. Um, if you have any problems, any technical problems with the websites, please give me, send me an email at bkirk. B K I R K at icsd.k12.ny.us um, or talk to your teachers again. So we hope that you'll consider giving this program a try. We think it's a really great program, but again, if it doesn't work out, then that's fine. See you in class.